Hi there, my name is Naveria and I welcome you back to Blackwell Deception. Um, it's been really a while since we played it and um, to be honest I didn't take time to refresh my memory. Uh, I don't know where exactly I left off. Uh, I mean, I've lost all my um, paper writings about this game and I, I really hope I won't need them because, you know, Sometimes. I never knew Jeremy was so religious. He oh, I'm not. Not really. It belonged to my grandmother. Okay, that's... Wait, he still doesn't... So he doesn't know his, his dad. We need to help him with that, right? Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, I hope I won't need the records I had. Because I've lost them. Oh, yeah, it's 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 my business card. It's a laminated press pass that I took from the City Post newsroom. It seems to be expired, so I doubt anyone will miss it. Okay. Hey. Uh, Jeremy lost his phone somewhere. I wonder if anyone found it. Uh, who could have? Jeremy? Yes. yes. I need your help, Jeremy. So, the City Post. That's pretty impressive. It's grueling work, but it's been nice. Everyone's saying that print newspapers are dying, but there's something legit about being in print. Well, there's still magazines and stuff, so... Yeah? Out of curiosity, what's the last thing you remember before getting sick? Why do you want to know? Oh, I just wonder where you picked it up from. Hmm. Huh. You know, I don't know. I had some interviews lined up. I went for a walk. Yeah, uh -huh. that must have been it. I must have caught a bug outside somewhere. Serves me right for not putting on a jacket. Well, if it's a bug, a jacket wouldn't help you. That's what it's about. Consult my notes, Mayor? Maybe Jeremy sends. So, Jeremy, sense. tell me about yourself. We never got much of a chance to talk back then. Me? Um, I was born upstate, moved here after college, wrote freelance for a bunch of papers, including the Village Eye. Not much else to tell, really. Are you sure you've never been to the High Line? Not once? No, please stop asking about it. He Sorry, just asking. Your never line, mind. right? There is a chalk outside blocked off with police tape. Someone was killed there, and I have a horrible feeling I know who. And I already told the dis detective that I know it's him. So I guess you don't just have a feeling about it, you're pretty sure. And for some reason Jeremy doesn't want to talk about it. Why? Penelope Haynes. Is there anything else you can tell me about Penelope Haynes? Penelope. Have you been up to her apartment on Park Avenue yet? No, yeah. not yet. Go pay her a visit. Once you know more, we'll talk again. Okay, I uh, found out about this person, I guess. I'll go visit her, but first let me talk to you uh, completely. You wrote in your notes that you lost your phone. Did I? Yeah. Yes, you did. If I did, I must have found it. Got it right here. See? No. It, you don't. You're lying. <laughs> Remind me, what do you need me to do again? Penelope knows something. Try and get her to talk. If I remember right, she likes to talk. I hate talking. <laughs> well, I better get going. I already see people again, asking, Rosa. why are you here then? Because I love playing games. And I like talking to myself. Um... Hi... Wait... Heinz. Hey, Heinz? Hey, blonde girl. Yes. Oh, it's Penelope a baby. Penelope Haynes. I'm Madison Haynes. Penelope is my mother-in-law. Can I help oh. you? She had a visit from a reporter not too long ago. A Jeremy Sams from the City Post. Oh, you're with them. Come in. <laughs> Why is she changed? Sorry, so? but you're out of luck. She no longer lives here. Why are you letting me in then? That makes no sense. Well, is she dead? I mean, if people say 
that person doesn't live here anymore, they usually don't mean they dead. She's not dead, is she? What? No. <gasps> what gave you that idea? I don't I, know. Well, never mind. It was I talk more to dead people you than You said it, not me. <laughs> Where is she then? Where did she go? Where she can be taken care of. She's quite oh, elderly. No. A nice enough woman, but needed a lot of looking after. As you can see, we just had a child. I couldn't look after both of them. Not if I wanted to keep my sanity. So she's in a nursing home. An assisted living center, yes. Well, that's pretty bitchy. What did Jeremy speak to Penelope about? You don't know? Aren't you from the paper too? Not exactly. Jeremy is, uh, ill. I'm following up on his interviews, trying to learn what he did. I see. Well, I don't know what they spoke about. He spoke to her privately in her room just over there. Oh, damn it. My earring. Guys, sorry. Why did I touch it? Damn it. Sorry. My earring is barely holding on its place. Yep. The baby? It's not moving, is it okay? <laughs> I think it's a doll or something. That's a cute kid you've got there. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> His name is Chris. He's about eight I don't care. Now. He's a little terror, but <laughs> he's mine. Uh, yeah. Could you okay. tell me what center she's in? I don't think that's a good idea. When your friend from the newspaper came, she became quite agitated. She was always a little unstable, but she became much worse. I don't know what you want with her, but I don't think I should tell you where she is. Be nice and tell me. Are you sure you can't tell me what center she's in? It's kind of important. I don't care if it's important. Couldn't she's Jeremy well. just tell me about uh, where she... Well, he might not know. He probably doesn't know. Because she said... She got agitated after she got talked to him, so... Are you sure you can't tell me what center? I don't care if it's important. She's not well. Are you really taking care of her? Well, thanks for the chat. I might be back to follow up. I don't really have anything else to tell you, but bye. Yeah, whatever. Sure. <laughs> Since it's an option. Looks like a thermostat. Not sure what I can do by touching it. <laughs> do something about it. Bedroom. Ooh. Some kind of green drink. I can't touch it. Then some kind of check green it. trinket. Look at the dust on that thing. Nobody's slept here for a while. So this must be her room. Not bad. If it's all the same, I think pretty generic stuff. They sell this crap by the hundreds in any department store. Brochure. It's a brochure. It looks like it's for a nursing home. Oh, the place bingo. It's called Seagram Assisted Living, and it's got a Seagram. branch down on East 33rd. This sounds familiar. It's the way out of here. It's not door, it's shelf. <laughs> looks like an old closet. Can you check it? It's inside there. Crammed to bursting point with old boxes. Just a set of... I love the idea, but I'm not really a hands-on kind of guy. Haha. -ha. So, I guess that's all. Is there a point of staying in here? Nope, still a ghost. Looks like a phone to me. Yeah, you're so smart. I've always wondered what kind of people collected these things. Fabergé eggs? Well, I guess that kind of person's... <laughs> I guess there's nothing stopping me from doing that, except for my nearly complete lack of physical existence. You could try at least. Hey, lady. Nope, she can't hear me. Hey, I'm pretty sure baby would react to I you, though. I wouldn't kick her out of bed, but only if she lost the attitude. I wouldn't Wait. kick her out of bed, but only if she lost the attitude. He's staring right at me. Kids that young have always been able to see ghosts like me. They never get scared, though. I guess they don't know any better. <laughs> That's creepy. That's creepy. 
If I ever have a kid and it stares at one spot, uh, I'll be creeped out. Cheap plastic <laughs> crap. I can't touch it. Cheap pla- Looks like it lead. Will you check it out too? There's nothing but a long hallway down. Okay. So, kid. How's it going? <laughs> oh, no, you get It's up. walking, what? Oh, hey, watch it. <sighs> Isn't it like she's had eight months? Well, wait, what? Oh, I can make it follow me. It's so cute. Will the baby try to come here? No? Hey, what's the point of making the baby follow me, I wonder? Is there a point? Glossy women. I can't touch it. So, kid. <sighs> hey, lady. Nope. I wouldn't kick her. That's creepy, the way the kid is moving. Okay. I found out where they stashed the old lady. It's a place called Seagram. Did you get the address? Of course I did. I wonder if I'm supposed to do something with the baby, but... I can't think of anything, so let's go to that caring center. Um, what's that? It's a brochure for the nursing home. The Haynes place had. Yeah. Sorry. Looks I'm like sleepy. a bunch of. Story of my life. Got it. Okay. Did it's I? It's a need brochure it? for the Seagram Nursing Home. It's got a big hole punched in it. I guess for hanging on hooks. I hope the lettering didn't uh, get disturbed. Looks though. like a list of doctors that are on call. None of the names look familiar. Uh. Hole punch. That's what. Um, yeah, I probably it's that's a where. God. What am I gonna put a hole in? in? My hands. The, the brochure. It's the lob. I don't need to use that phone. Hi, is this Seagram Assisted Living? You've got the right place. What can I do for you? Could you tell me a bit about this place? Well, if you want my opinion, this is one of the best assisted living centers in New York. But you don't want to hear a PR spiel, I'm sure. If you're interested, take one of our brochures over there. I'm looking for a Penelope Haynes. I just did. Does she stay here? Mrs. Haynes? She spends her time in the common area most days. It's on the second floor, you can't miss it. Thanks. So I can go there. Oh, I didn't expect that. Um... It's okay if I go visit her? We like to think of our residents as guests, not patients. We take Good. care of them, but this is their home. As long as you don't bother anybody, you can come and go as you please. That's sweet. I hope you have a good um, security here, though. Since anybody can enter and leave, it's not safe, then. Can you tell me anything about Penelope Haynes? Her? Nice lady. Very... I guess you could call her spiritual. She hangs out in the common room most of the time. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. Thank you. Um, I will. Have a good day. I hope. <laughs> Got the funny picture right there. To the common room, yeah. Okay. There, there. It's only visitors. Uh oh, I think he's so. S he's so not only just me. I guess just like little kids, uh. People who are close to death also can see ghosts. <laughs> That's the first thing I saw. Uh, I thought uh, about when I, I saw his reaction. I'm not here to watch TV. Oh come on! There's always time for TV. <laughs> it's been years. I don't remember when was the last time I actually turned on TV. And do what with it exactly? Watch it. Looks like a ball of yarn. Take it. Does this belong to anybody? Nah. Nobody I know. Help yourself. Thank you. I'll take everything I see, okay? They don't look... 
An old man. He's just staring out the window. Hello? Can you hear me? Nothing. Uh, is he all right? How about Joey, though? What if Joey... What's the point? He can't hear me. I think he can. Okay, maybe he can't. That was just my guess. All right. I guess you are the one I was supposed Penelope to talk Haynes. to. Hmm. Oh, Madison. Well, this is a surprise. No, I'm not Madison. You're not? Ah, oh, yes. Sorry, I should have known. Your aura carries a whiff of her essence. I got confused. Interesting. <laughs> what? I mean, I just talked to her, so that's bizarre. You said something about an aura? I could see it a mile away. Your aura, my dear, it's been infected by her. Infected? Her? The woman who calls herself my daughter-in-law. Bits of her essence have infected your aura like vile worms. Really? That's insane. No, not really. Don't fall for this. She smells Madison's perfume. I don't have a nose and I could tell she was swimming in it. Madison is a spiritual viper. What? I mean... <laughs> you think Madison is a spiritual viper? The energy. Energy flows into her but doesn't come out. She just cares for material wealth and nothing for her fellow human beings. She's corrupted my son and it's too late for him. But me? I got out. Lucky escape. Because you're far away from them now? I was told Jeremy Sams came to talk to you. Oh, that young man? So keen. It would be funny so if she turns out to be a demon or something. Or he wanted to. <laughs> He's on his way now, I think. I sent him there. Sent him where? Where did you send Jeremy? To the next phase, of course. What? The next phase? There are many worlds, but we have work to do in this one. I... I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah. There, there. You're not supposed to. Because I'm too stupid to do to understand. Do you know Jeremy is dead? What? What are you talking about? He's Jeremy dead. Is dead. He was killed a few days ago. Oh. Oh my. That is funny. What? And me going on about sending him on his way to the next world. What you must think of me. Don't worry about it. I sometimes well, I actually forget did that I have operate on a higher dark plane thoughts. than most people. Still can't be helped. Don't worry about the boy. He has rejoined the universe. Okay, you're talking like a crazy person. Uh, what did Jeremy want? What did you and Jeremy speak about? My work, the universe, and my work within the universe. So what? many people, so many lost. I'm quite important, you know. Okay. I'm pretty sure every person thinks the same way about themselves. What kind of work do you do? I meditate. I think. I exist. Really? What more is there? Well, thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, you it's didn't help me. Stop by any time. I guess I'll have to go talk to Jeremy again. He said I shall come back. Once I talk to her, though I don't know if I got anything new from her. Jo huh? Joey. Huh? Joey. Is that you? No way. Huh? He knows you. Are you talking to me? Hello? Anybody there? Joey. Yeah, that's my name. Do I know you? Dear Hi. God. I'm afraid he does that sometimes. Talks to people who aren't there. Or perhaps they are. He sees the world through different eyes. Oh, for crying out loud, shut up. Joey. Why? Why did you do it? Huh? Are you? No. Not you. Get the elevator, Red. We're leaving. Joey. You really want to have this conversation here? Get the damn elevator. I do. I'm not getting... So oh, okay. What? <laughs> Who was that guy? Maybe nobody. Maybe somebody. 
don't know. Yes, you, you don't do. Know. No, I don't. If there's something to say, I'll say it. Until then, we got a spook to sort. Uh, I'd better listen to your story, Joey. Come on in. Oh, hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Alrighty, uh, did? We've met Penelope. Oh, you found her? How's she doing? She's interesting. Interesting's the word. I could only understand half of that crap she spouted. Yeah, she's a bit out there. She thinks she's found something meaningful. Has she? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. So? Care to tell me something? Yes. Ask him about death? I can't. This is just too awkward. Come on. Just do it. No? Okay. Remind me. What Find Penelope. Penelope. She'll... I did! But... Is there anything else you can... She's a sweet old lady. Are you sure? No! Sorry. Uh, what? So, did you, I mean, do you still talk to anyone from the old- Not really. No. I- I don't get it. I talked to her, but nothing- What? He said, come back to me after you talk to her. You wrote in your note- Did I? Yeah. If I- Well, I- Alright. <sighs> That's not helping me. Jeremy. I can't get through. One ghost is usually okay, but two is probably too much for it to handle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sam Durkin. I, can I can't get through. Also, I think I... Yeah. You guys told me I can check my mail here, which I didn't. Uh, I didn't know you, you could do it through the phone in this game. It's cool. Um, Paul Meltzer. Paul Meltzer. Familiar name. Rosangela, you need to stop contacting me. I don't know what happened, but it's done. Whatever Charlie did, he clearly wasn't in his right mind. I'm ch closing up shop and leaving town. Don't contact me again. I need to rebuild and get on with my life special offer for all your software networking needs contact tomo again okay rel day books miss rosangela blackwell i'm sorry to report that the sales of the actor of the artist fell far below expectations and we will not be issuing another printing elizabeth Higher. Okay. Am I supposed to Google her or something? The Park Gallery. Hello, everyone. You wanted it, you got it. Next Thursday, I'll be putting more of Claude Erding's early work for up for auction. So come in early and get your bids in. Okay, Susan Lee. Uh. Susan. Lee. Hi, this might seem like a strange question, but did you visit me in the hospital a few years ago? It's that girl I helped? I was going through some problems at the time, although they are a bit fuzzy. For some reason I feel like I should thank you. I'm not sure why, but thank you, whoever you are. Or Loader? Hi Rosa, thanks for coming. I suppose it was too much to hope that my husband's ghost was still here. Of course. How would I know one, uh, one way or the other if you're telling the truth? Eh, Susan Lee again? Oh, I'm still confused about that year. And to be honest, I think I'd prefer not to know. She did answer. Uh, hi, Susan. Yes, I did visit you. No need to thank me. I'm glad you're doing well. New. Anon. Miss Blackwell. I knew contacting a spiritualist was a stupid idea, but I did 
didn't expect this to happen. No sooner do I contact you than my yacht is in pieces on the Jersey Shore. I'm glad I had a foresight not to give you my name. Don't try to find me. I certainly won't be looking for you. Strange. Hello from Jair Jaipur. What's that? Shanti. This trip has been wonderful and I'm really looking forward to heading home. I am um, not the world traveler I used to be, it seems. And I'm sure poor Moti is raising hell at the kennel. <laughs> Either way, I wanted to check in. We'll have dinner when I get back. Ashanti. I miss you. She's so nice. No connection that I can see. Too bad. Why can't Jeremy remember what he spoke to Penelope about? It would make our job so much easier. Probably because it led to his death. You know, spooks, sweetheart. They go out of their way to avoid thinking about that. Jeremy and the Highline are obviously connected somehow. Why can't Jeremy... Probably. I don't think those are connected in any way. Seriously. <laughs> Penelope... Uh... Uh, Penelope Hines and Jeremy connected. He s she sent him that to somewhere that led to his death. And we know Highline is where he died. So how the hell sh she is not connected to this place? Huh? Back. <laughs> none of the uh, none of the other photos. I have no idea what to do. And uh <laughs> It's like I've wasted 10 minutes or on nothing. Mm. Maybe I should go to talk to this blonde girl again. I don't think it's gonna oh, help me though. you again. I told you, there is no reason I spoke to your mother-in-law. You spoke to Penelope. Yeah. Yes. I told you not to speak to her. No, Sorry. you said you wouldn't tell me where to find her. I found her anyway. Hmm. Clever girl. And what did she tell you? She doesn't think much of you, that's for sure. <sighs> Come in, shut the door. <laughs> Let me tell you something about my mother-in-law. She's rich and she's needy. People like her are easy prey for people like him. People like who? People like Gavin. Who? Who's Gavin? What did this Gavin do? He brainwashed her is what he did. He made her hate us. He told her we were phony and superficial. Okay, we're well off. I can't deny that. But the thing she said? She changed her will. Can you believe that? Left everything to Gavin. Even my husband couldn't look at her anymore. So, we sent her away. Was it a lot of money? Who cares about the money? The money isn't the point. She turned her back on her family, her son, her new grandchild just because some cult leader told her to. You stick by your family, that's just what you do. Well, is that really what happened? So you put Penelope into a nursing home after she changed her will? I know, I know, we're horrible, ungrateful people. Don't think we don't feel guilty about it. But she was impossible to live with, and we have a son to raise. I even gave her a key and I told her she could visit whenever she liked. Not that she would. She denies we ever gave it to her, even though it's lying in her room for everyone to see. Well, I better get going. Goodbye, then. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Why did she say? <laughs> hey, lady. Nope, she can't hear me. Yeah, obviously. He's staring right... Kid, they never get... So, kid, <laughs> what's the skinny? <sighs> Not sure what I can do. Looks like a. Th hey, late. Nope. You want to follow me? Just keep your distance. That's cute. There's something on her bed, and I, I wish I could take it. I guess there's nothing stopping me from doing that except some kind of green green trinket. 
to her again not much I can do no 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 not you me hey I could blow I didn't realize it <laughs> well I guess I'll check on Mrs. it later Hines. oh it's you it's me I spoke to Madison about you oh I'd advise against that five minutes in her presence will kill a year of your spiritual growth Did you really cut your family out of your will? Sure I did. What of it? They have everything they need. I'm giving it to a much worthy cause. Like... The work must continue. I can make sure it does. <sighs> Madison doesn't seem all that bad. You never lived with her. For years I lived under a cloud, only I never knew it. The clouds have parted and I see. See what? My purpose. I never had one before. She couldn't see that. She did everything she could to destroy it. She even took my peridot. What? Peridot? A stone. Gavin gave it to me. It promotes spiritual growth. I think I've seen it. She took it before sending me here. And like it was do her slide on good. your bed. Can't you get another one? This one was given to me by Gavin. It has special energy inside. It's... Irreplaceable. I could get your peridot for you. You would do that? You'd brave that nest of vipers and retrieve it for me? It's hardly a nest of vipers. That's because you can't see. But if you get it for me, let's just say that helping others is the key to helping yourself. I'd like to help myself to some earplugs. <laughs> About the peridot. Did you find it? Not yet. Oh. Uh, this Gavin. Who is he? Gavin is the one who opened my eyes. Must be you make him sound a like demon a or something. Far I from bet. it. He's just a man who had his eyes opened, and he helps others do the same. Yeah, sure. He was just a signpost on my spiritual journey. More like the exit ramp to your personal loony bin. Um, I'd like to meet Gavin. You? No, no, I don't believe you're sincere. That reporter, Jeremy. I sent him on his way to Gavin, and it just and he upset died. things. It upset someone, all right. Upset them enough to kill. Yeah. Perhaps he wasn't ready. Perhaps he remained closed-minded. Perhaps I should have seen that. Either way, you must find your way to Gavin yourself. Unless you can prove your sincerity. How can I prove it? Prove my sincerity? How do I do that? Promote your own spiritual growth. If you don't do that, your eyes will remain forever closed. Spiritual growth. I see ghosts I'm the only spirit already. Here and it's never done me any good. Madison told me she gave you a key to her apartment. A key? No, she didn't. She told me she did. Well, she's lying. She hates me, so she wouldn't give me anything. You understand? I'm not sure I do. That's all right. Maybe you're not supposed to. I need a fucking key. Are you sure Madison did- I told you before- She- Well- Oh, it's- I'm guessing that's Penel- Hmm. They don't look- Hello? Nothing. Why would I want to talk to him? He's nobody. Oh, he He's is nobody. someone. Well, maybe if she gave me, gave her the key, maybe it's in somewhere stored in her belongings, and this nurse might know something about it. Hi again. Hello. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. <laughs> okay. What am I gonna put a hole? I'm for sure. I don't need to. A ball of yarn. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> what? I tied the yarn to the hole in the brochure. Um, 
but what for? Put it on myself. She's studying that child. I don't think so. Why did I do this? Makes no sense. That doesn't make any. Looks yeah. like a bunch. Nothing makes sense. I've got plenty of. I think those are. They smell really. Ah, uh, whatever. Guess I'm leaving. Um. Haynes again. She must oh, really hate you me. again. Hi. Come in. Shut the door. <laughs> what? The baby's always happy to see uh, Joey. Penelope mentioned a peridot stone. Oh, that thing. She wore it constantly. Believed it contained some spiritual powers or something. I should throw it away. I need it. Can I have the peridot stone? Why? Penelope would like it back. Absolutely not. That trinket just made the problem worse for her. The next time I think of it, I'm just gonna throw it away. Don't. Are you sure I can't take the? I think Penelope would really. Did you hear what I told you? <sighs> well, I better. Listen, I appreciate what you're doing, but please don't bother us. We're embarrassed enough. I'll do. My I expect more than that. Now, Chris and I are meeting my husband for dinner, so if you'll let yourself out. Right. Sure. Hmm. Can I go back? Doesn't look like it. Will he help? Not sure what I can do by touching it. So they left the place. There's nothing but. A but. That's way too heavy for me to pick up. Then again, just a light switch. No, no, no! Fuck. Doesn't look. Why the lamp is on if no one lives in this room? That's way too heavy for me to. Looks like. That's way too. Some kind of gr. If it's all the same. Not bad. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. It will fly into the window. <laughs> nah. It's a brochure. The place is. Looks like. Cram to bursting point. Well, I need a key. Maybe J could Jeremy somehow have it? I don't really think it's possible, but come on in. Oh, I can't touch it. I'll talk. Jeremy. Yes. Yes. Did you ever come across the name Gavin during your research? Gavin. Yes. Yes, I know that name. Oh, you do. Who is he? <laughs> I think Why I need to Google so it. Fuzzy. I should, should know this. Is important. Somehow. God, why can't I remember? He's at the root of everything. Penelope and the others. All of them. Who? We've got to find him. We've got to expose him. Expose what? What did he do? I... I don't know. I'm sorry. I just don't know. I'm not feeling well. My brain's not working right. Please, Please, keep, keep digging. digging. Just, Just find him. You're really helping me. Well, I bet. Alright. According to Madison, Penelope was brainwashed by. I have no idea. I have no idea. No results. Can I call some dirty? I can't get through. Whatever. Mm. 
Hi again. Hello. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. Great conversation right there. City post. Maybe something on the highlight. No. At least I can call from here. Darken. Hi, it's me again. Uh-huh. Uh I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? I was just checking in. No, you got anything? I, I guess have any not. <laughs> Actually, I could give them the name Gavin to check up on. But oh well, whatever. Guess not. Uh, wait. Hi, you've reached. He said he lost his phone. So, if I call. Uh, while standing near it, I should be able to hear the the sound of it, right? Interesting. Though I can't call when I'm in his apartment. Hi again. Oh, could I ask you if I'll do my best? Do you know anyone named Gavin? Sorry, I don't. Yeah, figured as much. Jeremy was killed on the High Line. Do you That's the new park on. Do you know anyone? Sorry, I don't. So he, he was it's weird. Thanks again. Sure. Um. I don't need to use. I'm not tired. Are you sure? You've been walking around. I tied the yarn to the hole in the brochure. Hey. Hey, hey. That could help me with something. But to be honest, I don't know what exactly, so. way I can I can actually do something about the door here doesn't look nah. not sure what I looks like a third glossy women what do you want me to go looks like a I think I haven't Must I done I already took everything I could. I'm not sure what that will accomplish. Me neither, believe me. Mrs. Hank. Oh, it about the pair. Did you find not? Oh well. Prove my. No, sincerity. I mean I know How where it I is, that? but I have no the idea. To your own spirit. If you. Are you sure? I told she. Well. So oh, it's been. <sighs> she must have gave it to you. He's quiet. I'm guessing that's Penel. Hello? Can you hear? Nothing. I don't think she. Does this mean anything to you? No reaction. Joey, I need help. I can't talk to her, but by the looks of her, that. Why would? Why would I? Not much I can do. Maybe I can talk to Joey. I need to do it, but first we'll need 
to go home, I guess. Or to Highline. I'll go home. Joey, I'd like to talk. What's going on? I need a hint or something. If that Peridot stone is anywhere, it's probably back at the Haynes apartment. If that Peridot stone is anywhere, huh. it's probably back at the Haynes apartment. Yeah, it is, but I have no idea how to enter it. And we have an option to talk about old man. I'd like to know about him. About that guy in the nursing home. He's nobody, sweetheart. Absolutely nobody. You're lying. You act like he was nobody. Look, he's not a spook, so he's not our problem. And when he dies? I said, he's not our problem. So drop it. No. If that Peridot... All right, let's get out of here. After you, doll. This Gavin sounds like some kind of cult leader or spiritual guru. Praying on old ladies. He's got no class. Why can't Jeremy... Probably because it'll... The High Line is a... New Park... The High Line... New Park's going up. So what's your take on Jeremy? My take? What do you mean? You know spooks, sweetheart. They make no sense half the time. It's like their minds have snapped. They try so hard to deny their own death that they... But you're Jeremy? He's a sharp one. Completely lucid. You're right. It was easy to forget that he was dead. It was like we were having a real conversation. Yeah, that's what worries me. Goes against the rules, such as they are. What do you mean exactly goes against that's the all for rules? Now. Yeah. Somehow I'm supposed to get in uh, her apartment. And I have no idea how. She. I can't enter without a key and. Um. Doesn't look like. can't change to Rosangela here. So basically I can I do a shit. Just a light Not sure. Looks like a thermostat. So what am I supposed to do with I that? Just can't. Hmm. The numbers on this gizmo went down a bit. It now says 62 degrees. Not sure what the point of that was. Me neither. Sounds windy. Not sure what. No. What if I blow more? I think I've done enough. Must. Just a light. 